Okay, and I'm back. Let's get this moving. So, someone bought from Bartrand. And somehow I don't think they just stumbled on. <laughs> and in Brazil, Brazil is our powerful neighbor. We cower when we see its size on the map. Not really. <laughs> but actually, I think Colombia and Brazil have pretty nice relationship. Oh, pretty nice. Uh, okay. What to do? I've been putting this one for a long time, so let's go and do that. Yes, I know we're going to get fucked here. I think this is the Templar quest. Let's level up quickly with our standard level up. Yes, you do. Brazil is pretty, pretty damn massive. And we, we were once big, let's not lie, we really had a lot of territory, Panama was ours, a part of Brazil was ours as a matter of fact, <laughs> yes, yes, Colombia. It's it's very uh, strange. They, I think that they, I don't know what it's called. How do you call the the thing that's on on a flag? I don't know they. Really don't know how you call it. In your flag, I know there there is uh, order and progress. In our um, flag or shield, it's <laughs> it's uh, liberty and order. As politicians. We do know what to do with our money, they steal it. That's what they do. Yes, the emblem, that's right. The, sh the emblem of the country. Order and progress and liberty and progress and order. I think we have gained some order, so it's time for a little liberty. Okay, they're in me on two. That let's go with thirty-seven, thirty-seven, thirty-three. Nature thirty-seven. Huh. 
<laughs> Guess what? Usually order and liberty are not companions. Or many people believe that anarchists certainly do. Both on the left and on the right. you try to impose order, then you lose liberty. Okay, a desire demon. Let's see if desire demons are immune to fire. Apparently they are not immune to fire. That's enough. For example, our former president, which I like because he's a pretty stern anti-communism, anti-communist, <laughs> and we had a few problems with communists here. Mm, sacrifice the liberty, a lot of liberty, of the liberties of the people. <laughs> to get order, which he did. Now we have a new president, which safeguards the liberty much better than the previous one, but now we're getting more rebel activity than before. It's Really a trade off, as you say. Really a trade off. <laughs> Holy crap, how did Adeline go down? I will fear. It's too much. Holy shit. Okay. I'm going to get killed in a second. Ah oh, no 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 I uh, I don't think we're heading nor you you have a pretty um, straightforward social democracy I think in Brazil. Actually managed to kill the desire demon and now I'm going to get fucked by the Beric, if you were faking, I would strangle you. Okay, fate seemed to be let me see. 
They are push over. Sadly, I can't do shit to them. Yes. That's true. You don't need... Uh, how do they call them? Well, maybe an underclass or something. Either peasants disgruntled peasants or <laughs> workers in the cities so there is a so successful revolution now you can get a revolution without people really caring what they are supporting as long as the current regime is bad enough. Yeah. Holy fuck. Then holy shit. Yes, I use AOE spells. I use them a lot. Okay, I'm going to die, so let's reload this. Yes, I... I... I live on the danger side, you could say. On the AOE thing. Why? Because the waves, I think, are really impossible to manage. Without AOEs, especially since I won't be a spirit healer, I refuse to be a spirit healer. AOEs are really my only line of defense. Against waves. Shit, they didn't level up. <laughs> yes, that would be useful, <laughs> but as you say, I'm playing on the Xbox, so no mods for me. Not until very recently I got a PC capable of playing this game. And I'm 90 hours on the campaign. Into the campaign, and I had a 200 hour run on the Dragon Age Origins campaign. 200 hours is too much time to try and do again, really. Yes, 
Yes, I did play um, Dragon Age. I think I said that. Yes. I like it very much. Holy crap. Yes, it's a very, very uh, good game. Long, full of twists and turns. Okay, ornate demonic amulet. Okay. I don't know. I think Dragon Age did a lot of things better. One of them, the combat, the fast-paced combat of this game, I don't mind. They really fucked up the basic idea behind tactical combat. You can see that uh, as the old uh, computer RPGs, Dragon Age had a rule set. And the combat was based on that idea. Whereas here you have something that is based on the feel of the combat. But the combat is um, appealing to people who like action games. That's what they were going for. So when you try to emulate something like the challenge of origins, you get fucked by the waves. Well, I, I really don't know. I haven't seen the story from start to finish. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> In day oh, uh, 2. I have really no idea. So I, I cannot... Mm. I don't really have a final opinion on that account. Mage sent that thing here to kill him. Why would anyone? Oh, Maker. The murders. Emmerich was right. He was getting too close. He suspected a man named Gaspar Dupuis. Did he do this? No, I don't think Gaspar is behind this bullshit. Yes, this is my first playthrough. <coughs> mm. Gaskard was only a small piece of the puzzle. I think he's innocent. <sighs> he should have believed Emmerich. I thought he was just trying for one last shot at glory. Whoever did this is a dangerous apostate that Meredith will want found. I will see to it personally. My guardsman will find Alessa, the woman who was with Gaskard. She might still be in danger. 
Thank you for your help in this matter. If you learn anything more, please come to me. Ok. For example, one thing that Origins did better is mixing mechanics with story a lot better. I think here you you can become a blood mage. Casually, really, you just press a button and you are a blood mage. On Origins you really had to go over to the dark side to be a blood mage. You had to deal with demons as blood mages are supposed to do and offer your soul for power. Here you don't have to do shit. <laughs> 